along today. We are going to have an awesome time as we pray together. So the first thing I'd like you to do, please, is to invite your friends, invite your families, and come along with us as we pray today for you and also for your nation. My name is Pastor Bumi, and um, we are broadcasting today for the NICC studio setup. All right. Now, it's great for you to have come along because in 2021, God wants to do amazing things. Now, here is where we're going to be praying from. We're going to be praying from the book of Isaiah. And in Isaiah chapter 49, that's where we're starting from today. But before we do that, I'd like to ask you to please go into the description below when we finish to pick up our prayer guide that you can use to pray during challenging times. And, you know, this is one of the challenging times that I believe that we are facing as a people. All right, so let's get into Isaiah chapter 49 here and let's start the prayer. Oh, you know what? As I picked up this today and read it, there are certain words that just leaped out of the Bible to me. So let's read Isaiah chapter 49 in verse 8. Look at what it says here. Now, it says here that in, this is what the Lord says. In the time of my favor, I will answer you. And in the day of salvation, I will help you. I will keep you and make you to be a covenant for the people, to restore the land and to reassign its desolate inheritances. Now, here is the deal right here. Now, when I was uh, just uh, meditating on this and just reading about it, it is that first part of the scripture that says, in the time of my favor, I will answer you. Wow. You mean that there was a time that God has just chosen to favor people? Oh, yeah. There is just that time that God himself has chosen to favor people. And he says, in that time, I'll answer you. And the point is, if you pray to God at the time that he has chosen to actually favor you, wow. He said, he's going to answer us. Now, here is, uh, I got in my notes here, so let me get it here. And as I researched, kind of looked around and thought to myself, you know what, let me get a little bit more idea about this. I came across a message by Pastor Jerry Savell, right? And he was saying that, let me read what he said. He said that blessing is the power, all right? Blessing is the power. So the Bible tells us that in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 8, for example, tells us that this is the Lord that has given you power to get wealth. He has blessed you so that you can get wealth. However, favor is the opportunity to make it happen. Wow. Now, let me say that again. The blessing is the power, all right? But favor is the opportunity to make it happen. Like what? Okay, Joseph is in prison, is blessed, obviously, because he's one of the chosen people, the Israelites, the son of Jacob. He's blessed. It's obvious that he's blessed, but when the favor of God came upon him, it created the opportunity for him to prosper. Wow. Are there areas of your life that you actually need the opportunity for you to prosper in? Of course there are. I want us to pray in the name of Jesus, receiving this word to ourselves, receiving this word for your family, receiving this word and saying, oh God, I thank you because as I call upon you today, being your time of favor, you will answer me. Hallelujah. And is there anything you want to call upon the Lord for? Is there anything that you need favor in? Let's pray first that, Lord, we need favor with our businesses and our jobs. Because let's be honest, in this pandemic times, we need favor. We need opportunity for the blessing of God. We know we are blessed, but we need the favor of God. As we 
pray this, we are activating faith in us that believes in this word that the favor of God will come upon our jobs and businesses in Jesus' name. Come on, take that prayer. Hallelujah. Father, we just thank you. We receive this word. We thank you for it, oh God. We thank you that it shall work for us. Lord, your favor over our jobs. Thank you for open doors, opportunities that you are creating and opening for us to prosper in this season in the name of Jesus. This is the season where, where we are going to get promoted because this is your time of favor. Your time of favoring us is now in the name of Jesus. And Lord, I thank you for your word that says that you will answer us. Father, we give you praise for our businesses, businesses that we have opened that may be struggling. Father, we receive favor today in the name of Jesus. We say let the favor of God be activated over our own services. Let the favor of God be activated over our products. Let the favor of God be activated over our contracts so that we can experience the blessing that you have said to us, that you have given us the power to get wealth in the name of Jesus. Lord, we receive this because we believe and know that your word is true and we will indeed experience your favor in Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Praise God. Look what it says here. Favor is the opportunity to cause the blessing to happen. Favor is the opportunity. You know what? Some of us need opportunity even in our education. You need the favor of God to rest upon you as you study so that you know exactly what to study. So, <laughs> you know, when the favor of God comes upon you, the Lord by his spirit can show you exactly this is what you need to read. This is how you need to prepare. Let's pray for people who are in education right now, that the favor of God will rest upon them in the name of Jesus. Father, we just give you praise for your favor. Again, that rests upon us. For those people who are involved in academics right now, thank you for your favor that rests upon them in the name of Jesus. Lord, we give you praise. We give you praise. We are thankful and grateful for that favor in Jesus' precious name. All right, praise God. Let's look at that verse again. I don't want us to forget it. So let's take a look at it. Where am I? Okay, let's go over here and take a look at the verse. Right, look at what it says. This is what the Lord says. In the time of my favor, I will answer you. Well, what do we need favor in? Some of us need favor in, in, in marriage. Maybe you're looking to God for a partner and you, and you want a spouse, you want to get married and you're a woman or you're a man and you're thinking, my goodness, what do I need? Oh, you know what you need? You need the favor of God. You need the favor of God to create the opportunity for you to meet that person. You need the favor of God right now in the name of Jesus. Father, we just thank you for those who are trusting you to be married. Lord, thank you for your favor that is released over them today in the name of Jesus. I pray for that woman. I pray for that man. Oh God, thank you for your favor. I pray for that, for those, for these people in the UK who are looking for, for to what? To you. They're looking to you for a spouse. Lord, I we, we receive, we receive the favor of God because this is your time to favor them. Thank you, Father, for testimonies that will come as a result of this prayer. I pray for people in China, people in Iraq, people in Iran, people in the US, people, oh God, in Africa, people in Southeast Asia, Lord, we pray for favor, favor to meet the person that they've been in it, favor to meet that man, favor to meet that woman in the name of Jesus, so that what you did in the life of 
Adam can come to pass in their own lives also in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for favor. Your favor rests upon them in the name of Jesus. The favor of God to meet someone, the favor of God to enter into a relationship, the favor of God, the open doors necessary to meet the right person that God has chosen. Let that favor rest upon them in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Praise God. You know, we're talking about favor. What does the Bible tell us in the book of Luke? The Bible tells us in the book of Luke, for example, chapter 2, that Jesus grew in, in wisdom, Jesus grew in, in stature, and Jesus grew in favor with God and man. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. Lord, I thank you for your favor that is ever increasing in my life. Come on, take that prayer, my friend. Take that prayer and say, God, I thank you for your favor that is ever increasing in my life. Because the Bible says Jesus grew in it. Jesus grew in favor with God and man. Ooh, you want to grow in favor? favor with God so that God would begin to cause things to happen, not only in 2021, but beyond in the name of Jesus. That favor rests upon you. Wherever I go, the favor of God rests upon me. When I wake up in the morning, I'm going to remember that the favor of God rests upon me. I begin to have an expectation of the favor of God to show up in the name of Jesus. I begin to have that expectation today. God, I thank you because you will cause your favor to show up in my life in the name of Jesus Christ. I begin to see that favor. I begin to experience that favor. When I, as we have prayed, when we make applications, the favor of God rests upon it. When we are studying, the favor of God rests upon it. When we are looking for a spouse, as some of you are, the favor of God rests upon it in Jesus precious name we have prayed about the favor of God over us in this season in Jesus name Woo! glory to God hmm. my 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 what an awesome prayer the favor of God the favor of God God told Mary you are blessed and you are highly favored we need that favor amen praise God all right hallelujah now this is what we're going to do Next time, when we come back, when we come back, we're going to take another of this prayer. But first of all, I want to remind you of a teaching that we're doing every Sunday. We're now going to be in week 26, and we're talking about how to discover, how to develop, and how to deploy your talents, your abilities, so that you can walk in God's call over your life. Do make sure that you join us on Facebook, YouTube, and on Zoom as well. We're on those three platforms every Sunday from 12.30 until 2 p.m. Praise God. I want to say this to you. This is your own season to prosper. Don't listen to what people are saying because they don't know this, but I'm telling you that this is your season to prosper. Yes, it is indeed your own season to prosper. Now, let's say this one more time. Let's go back to the uh, uh to, to description below and find where we have earmarked this particular link to this prayer guide so that you can download it and ensure that you begin to use it to pray and get results in the name of jesus hallelujah praise god and um before you go i want you to listen to a few announcements and i will see you again when we return for more prayers god bless you and have a great thank day god for everything and thank you for joining us today now here is your opportunity to give towards nicc and our ministry activities as you can see there's a budget shortfall for this year however your donations are making a difference here is our account number which is eight 